after all this, this can't be broken. So yesterday I did a, I think part two of the paraffin wax video. So that's what the wax was for. But I also found myself in a little bit of a sticky situation where I didn't have enough wax and then my feet weren't completely covered and the wax was just falling off. And I like to do something different with every video. And so the change today for this video is more wax and less lotion, which performs two roles. Yeah. So while that wax melts and does its thing, I'm always looking at ways that I can maybe over-dramatize certain things. So like these blocks of wax. I want to be able to break them down so they melt faster. Last time I tried this with a knife, bloody awful. I tried it with my hands, bloody awful. So I'm thinking about using this. Now one of the things that I don't love is the fact that I got a reply from Hart yesterday. So actually I'm starting to realize, uh, how am I going to do this? Do it like that? Okay. It's not particularly safe, is it? This is not as easy as I thought it would be. I'm not, I'm not going to risk my life on that. Okay, just um, doing one of those will do. I'm not going to go any further with that. That's stupid. Oh, how do I get the flipping wax off of here? Dumbass. You know, it's interesting. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this, but as someone in my position, you have the opportunity to get given free things. Now, these tools I've purchased myself. And if I were to buy more tools, I would just get Ryobi so the batteries all fit and the colors all fit. But as I'm in conversation with Hart, no idea if it's gonna go anywhere yet. I don't really want to be using these Ryobi tools, Ryobi, however you pronounce it, because if we have the Hart partnership, then it's like, oh, this guy's just getting paid. So maybe I shouldn't do it with this. Just get a flipping hammer. Now on one hand, you could be like, well, that's kind of deceitful to change up what you have just because you get it for free. But also, if I'd known about Heart before I purchased Ryobi, I would have, maybe I would have bought Heart. I've just realized we've got bits of grit on these now. Perfect. Now just a little cleanup. Now normally the next shot would be me pouring this into the wax, but I, for a shot for the video, I want this wax to all be melted and then I'm pouring this wax in on top of that. I think it would be a better looking shot. So while that melts, let's go put up a gate. Oh yes. I flip in love when things you have to put on the wall come with a stencil like this that you can, this, love that. This is the area in question. We have this gate, but Ruger has learned to be able to pull that out. And some of the situations is, this is bloody wide. And then this, is even wider. And when he pulls that one down, he could go downstairs. And when he goes downstairs, there's lots of toys that he shouldn't be playing with, <laughs> including everything in my office. Slight problem here. So we have this template up on that side. But Tim, I don't think it's gonna work very well on this side. <laughs> the flipping gate's too big, too tall. That's the end of the gate, but maybe the wax is melted now. There aren't many things that get to me as much as something that you get ready for physically and mentally, and then you just can't do. And that happens a flipping ton in DIY. Rubbish, okay, wax. Oh no, oh dear. We are all spilling out. So I think it's melted. Ow, flipping lid's hot as well. All right, we're just gonna pour everything out. Please don't, ex ow! This is bloody hot. Nice, okay. Now let's pour in the other wax. I was scratching my son's back with my feet when he asked me why they were so scratchy, so now I'm embarrassed and dipping them in hot wax to prepare them. Checking out the damage with a moisture test. 18%. I made two crazy changes from yesterday. I didn't expect the wax to go higher up my foot just because I added more wax to the crock pot and I nearly burned my sensitive skin. It's a little bit hot. 
into the ice. Well, yesterday I dunked my feet in iced water after each wax dip to make the wax harden and thicken. It says not to use too much, but let's go big or go home. Sculpted by America's number one foot cream brand. <laughs> and the wax just fell off my feet, which did in fact give me this genius idea to use less this time because like my wife says, less is more. Definitely a flipping ab workout trying to hold myself up. As I moved on to my final dip of 10 dips, but then the worst possible thing happened. And it wasn't that I remembered the time I told the waitress to enjoy her her meal too, it was a text from my wife to say breakfast was ready. I'll be up in 10. My feet smothered in wax like a biscuit under gravy. I was lucky to skip my wife's cooking and headed for my private snack drawer. Thing is absolute trash. Oh, I want the toes to come out clean. <laughs> Look at that beauty. All right, and test. And now I just hope my son will let me touch him with my feet again. After all this, this can't be broken. It just keeps giving me 99.9. <laughs> Oh, you twat.